Brothers and sisters, we all know by now how evil the Western media is. You know, when they report on the news, whenever Muslims blow themselves up to kill innocent people, and they call it terrorism. Brother makes a good point. The media is run by filthy Jews and white men. Sister makes a good point. But luckily, we can use the Western media and social media created by the filthy Jews and white men to give the true message of Islam to everyone and make sure that everyone knows that ISIS have got nothing to do with Islam. This must always be our number one priority. ISIS has nothing, nothing to do with this one. That's right. Oh, you all learn so fast, mashallah. So whenever anyone says that Islam is violent, all we have to say is ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. Because we all know that true Islam is nothing like it whatsoever. Now, before we all go out and preach to the dirty infidels so we can invite them to the beautiful message of Islam, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> sir, sir, me, me, me. One at a time, boys. Uh, Ginger, you go ahead. I exposed... Tommy Robinson. <laughs> oh, good for you, Ali D. I'm sure you did expose him. But that's not a question, though, is it? So let the ginger boy speak, please. Um, you know when ISIS kill people for not being Muslim anymore? <laughs> Fake ex-Muslims. <laughs> Lol. Yes, apostasy. Yeah, that's treason, like Edward Snowden, isn't it? Yeah. I've heard that's also in Islam, but nobody told me that before I joined. Is it true? Is it really a part of Islam, or is it only ISIS that do it? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> epistemologically speaking, you're forgetting the context. It's all about the multi-layered and multi-leveled approach. Brother makes a good point. You see, we have the pixel and all R has the picture. Aha. Pixel. Pixel. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. We shouldn't be embarrassed by our beliefs. Of course apostates are killing Islam. It's the authentic hadith that the prophet said. Whoever changes his religion, kill him. That is correct. Sahih Bukhari, book 88, hadith 5. Just to be clear. No context in this ruling mentions treason being a condition for this punishment to take place. This is an issue of consensus by the major Muslim scholars. Okay, okay, fine. Let's remember, however, that we behead the apostates. And as we know, beheading is painless. So it's a win-win for everyone. But apart from killing apostates... ISIS has nothing to do with Islam. Killing apostates is the only thing that they have in common with our religion. Any other questions? The Islamophobes always give us grief when ISIS cuts off the hand of a thief. Does Islam really give us this brief? Oh, seriously, mate, can you stop doing that? It is well annoying. Right. First and foremost, not every thief has their hand chopped off. Before you get your hand chopped off, you have to steal something really, really expensive, like an egg or a bit of rope. Sahih Bukhari, book 86, hadith 29. Yeah, and the general command to chop choppy is in the Qur'an in... Chapter 5, verse 38, Allah says, As to the thief, male or female, cut off his or her hands, a punishment by way of example from Allah. For the crime? Yeah, okay, okay. So ISIS follow Islam when they punish a thief or chop off their hand. But apart from killing apostates and chopping off the hands of thieves, ISIS have nothing to do with Islam. Oh, don't forget about them feet, innit? Feet? What feet? Allah orders us to chop off both the hands and the feet as well as crucify those what spread corruption. Brother makes a good point. This is in chapter 5 verse 33. Okay, okay. So Islam teaches you to chop people's hands and feet off or crucify them if they spread corruption. But apart from killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet and crucifixion, ISIS has nothing to do with Islam. Uh... 
Newman! So here's the point where you chop off the thieves' hands, babes. This is just an excuse to show you skin. Oh, look at that. I have an Audi. And I'm not talking about my belly button. You know what, babes? I call my bed the crucifix, girl. If you want to spread corruption, I'll be glad to nail you there. Newman, stop it! What you're doing is haram! You're not one to speak. We all know about your profile, Ashley Madison. Mr. Compassionate who likes cuddles. <laughs> that reminds me, what punishments do ISIS carry out for adultery? Well, what ISIS do is they give fornicators a hundred lashes while a group of Muslims has to gather round to witness. Quran, chapter 24, verse 2. And ISIS also stone married adulterers to death. Sahih Bukhari, book 93, hadith 55. All right, all right. So I guess that might be a little bit Islamic too. But apart from... Killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet, crucifixion, lashing fornicators and stoning adulterers, ISIS has nothing to do with Islam. Any questions from our sisters at the back there? I've got one. You know when ISIS takes slaves, like making women and children slaves, right? Well, that obviously can't be from Islam because we all know that slavery is wrong. <laughs> Wrong! Are you stupid? Even the Prophet had slaves and the Quran specifically allows it. Quran chapter 4 verse 3, chapter 4 verse 24, chapter 4 verse 25, chapter 23 verse 6, chapter 24 verse 33. Alright, alright, we get it. The Quran allows slavery. We all know that. At least those of us with full intelligence, not half intelligence like women, innit? Ew. That is true. Women have half our intelligence. We are told this in Sahih Bukhari book 609. Excuse me, I'm not going to attack you personally, but Islam to me. Sister, you cannot just interpret it the way you want to. Islam is not made up by every Tom, Dick and Harry. Sister, all major scholars agree that enslaving men, women and children is allowed in Islam. Mostly after battle, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam enslaved all the women and children of an entire Jewish tribe after he killed their men. There are many more examples, sister. All right, we get it. Slavery is legit. But apart from killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet, crucifixion, lashing fornicators, stoning adulterers and enslaving women and children, ISIS has got nothing to do with Islam. <gasps> hey, what about my gay friends? <gasps> we can at least say that Islam welcomes gays with open arms and that is why ISIS are un-Islamic. What? The puffs? Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, God created Adam and Eve. He didn't create Adam and Jamal. Our prophet said that we must kill the gays who act on their lust. Sunan Abu Dawood, Book 40, Hadith 112. We can fling them off the highest roof, but only after we've established proof. Oh, whatever. No one likes the gays anyway, apart from Linda. Ah! Okay, let's just get some context here. People say some stupid shit sometimes. I just say that shit to make them allies against white men and Islamophobes. Ah, very clever. Anyway, right, so apart from killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet, crucifixion, lashing fornicators, stoning adulterers, enslaving women and children and killing gays, ISIS has got nothing to do with Islam. Um, what about collecting GCR from non-Muslims? Quran, chapter 9, verse 29. What about destroying shrines? Sahih Tirmidhi, book 10, hadith 88. What about executing blasphemers? What about executing prisoners? Is hijab really compulsory? The drink is really get lashed. <sighs> oh look, we seem to have uh, run out of time, so I'm afraid I won't be able to answer any more of your questions at the moment. But my original point still stands, yeah? 
ISIS is not Islamic because, apart from killing apostates, chopping off hands and feet, crucifixion, lashing fornicators, stoning adulterers, enslaving women and children, killing gays, beheading prisoners, lashing drinkers, enforcing obligatory fasting during Ramadan, abiding by strict monotheism, enforcing zakat, enforcing compulsory hijab, destroying shrines, executing magicians, destroying idols, forcing jizya on non-Muslims and executing blasphemers. <gasps> ISIS has got nothing to do with Islam. So, what have we all learned today? Islam has nothing to do with Islam. Alhamdulillah, now go and tell all the infidels on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter that Islam has nothing to do with... Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs>